256. That is how many PlayStation 2 Platinum games that I have challenged myself to find over the course of 2024. And trust me, it's all about the numbers and we need to get those numbers up. Project PlayStation 2. My challenge for 2024 to try and find all 256 PlayStation 2 Platinum games that were released here in the PAL region. And here is the problem, that number. 256 games and it is a huge challenge to overcome and the only way we're going to overcome it is by breaking down those numbers. At the end of the first episode of the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, we had found 42 games, meaning we had 214 left to find. But we have an advantage. Here at the start of the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, a lot of these games can be found very, very cheaply. And in today's episode, I'm hoping to find a lot of these cheap games, cross them off the list and really get those numbers up. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button and please subscribe as I put new videos out every Saturday live at 5, as well as bonus content throughout the week. And I really want you folks along for the ride. And remember, you have the power to make this series a success. So please like, share, comment, get this out to the masses. We have 216 games left to find then, and the only way we're going to find them is getting out and on the hunt. And this time we are crossing the border from Norfolk into Suffolk and starting our hunt in the town of Ipswich. Here we go then, on the hunt for PlayStation 2 Platinum games here in Ipswich. And although I did try to hunt for these in the charity shops, unfortunately this time we didn't have any luck. Yes, we did find some PlayStation 2 games, but unfortunately none of these games were Platinum releases, which... Honestly, it was a bit shocking. I would have thought I would have found at least one Platinum game in one of these charity shops. And I guess we did eventually find a Platinum game in one of these charity shops. The only problem was it wasn't a Platinum game for the PlayStation 2. It was a Platinum game for the PlayStation 3. And at the moment, at least, we are trying to focus the PlayStation Platinum project on PlayStation 2 Platinum games. But who knows what the future may hold. But hopefully, our luck will start to look up as the hunt continues here at Ipswich. Also while in Ipswich I did check out some of the pawn shops such as Cash Converters and while Cash Converters did once again have some PlayStation 2 games, unfortunately once again there wasn't any PlayStation 2 Platinum games that we needed but as we went down the road and the bus cleared on the horizon was Cash Exchange. Now I've been to this pawn shop in Ipswich quite a few times. It normally blows me away with the retro and modern selection of video games they have here. As you can see here in the glass cabinet of dreams, they had some awesome Nintendo stuff, some fantastic PlayStation stuff, just a little bit of everything that I love when it comes to retro game collecting. And I just had my fingers and my toes crossed that we could find something in here for the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. Now, Cash Exchange didn't have the largest selection of PlayStation 2 games, but thankfully we had found our first PlayStation 2 Platinum games of the day here with Call of Duty Finest Hour. And at £2, as long as this had the Platinum disc and the manual, yes, I'm definitely going to pick this one up. This is old school Call of Duty, folks. If you haven't played this one, it's definitely worth checking out. I did unfortunately have to leave behind Onimusha here for £2 also, just because this one was a little bit rough and... At the end of the day, we are still early in the Platinum Project and I can afford to wait for these games for now. But at least we've found our first game here on the Platinum Project, PlayStation 2. Here it is then, folks, our first find this time from Cash Exchange in Ipswich. It is Call of Duty Finest Hour. And honestly, this was a golden age of Call of Duty. This was just at the start of the Call of Duty franchise when these games were just coming to consoles from PC for the very first time. And honestly, I have such fond memories of this period of Call of Duty. I just prefer it to the kind of big Hollywood blockbuster it is these days. But that's just down to personal preference. And for £2, it's another great one to cross off the list. The Platinum Project PlayStation 2 is without a doubt my biggest challenge to date. And I said in the last episode, I cannot do it without your help. And I asked people to get in touch if they had any unwanted PlayStation 2 games or if they were looking to sell any PlayStation 2 Platinum games to help me complete my challenge. And honestly, I am blown away by how many people have gotten in touch already. We are less than a month into the challenge and it's blown me away the generosity of you viewers and the retro gaming community here in the UK. 
Our first donation to the Platinum Project PlayStation 2 came from very close to home. These were donated by somebody who lives right here in the fine city of Norwich, one of you viewers, John, who got in touch saying they had some unloved PlayStation 2 Platinum games which they wanted to donate to the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. Now you can see here I have five games, but here's the thing, only two of these are complete. So coincidentally we have Shrek 2, and then we have WRC Extreme 2, but that's not all. John also donated three empty game boxes. Now here's the thing, I'm trying to find these games complete with the Platinum Disc and the manual. Now, these three games here are in fact missing the disc itself, but this is the thing, it is very hard to find these games complete and these games are gonna come in use more often than you think. But that's not all, we have another two games here which were donated for the Platinum Project PlayStation 2 from Joshua over on Instagram. Now he didn't say what two games these were and I have looked I'm blown away by these two. So first off in here we have an absolute classic first person shooter in Medal of Honor Frontline. Now he didn't tell me what games he was sending me and when I reached into this envelope I was blown away by this one. So bear in mind this game came out over 20 years ago and inside here we have Lego Star Wars the video game but this is a sealed PlayStation 2 game which is absolutely crazy but not as crazy as the fact he found this game in a charity shop for 25p. A sealed PlayStation 2 game found in a charity shop for 25p in 2023 is absolutely crazy but this game just holds such a special place in my heart. This is the thing with the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. It's not just about collecting these games, it's about going back and experiencing them even for the first time or for the first time in years. And this game means a lot to me as me and my younger brother used to play this game all the time in co-op when he was younger. So today on the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, I'm gonna go back and relive Lego Star Wars, the video game. Now, as much as I'm an advocate for opening my games, I just could not justify opening this copy of lego star wars the video game to play right here in this episode because fortunately we do already have this one in the platinum project playstation 2 so i can keep that copy sealed because seriously it's been numerous years and i don't want to open it now and this game is such a throwback it is crazy to think that this was one of the very first lego games in this kind of style before now Lego games have been very robust, very like kind of linear and this kind of gave people the freedom, like the actual definition of what Lego is, the freedom to experiment with their surroundings and it was just the fact this was such a good game in co-op, like the split screen and the fact anyone could basically pick up and play this game in a few seconds. As I'm showing here, I haven't played this game in a long while and I'm literally able to play it within milliseconds of picking it up. It's just the thing with these Lego games that we've come to know and love today. This is where they started, and this is that pick up and play mentality that's made them a success from then to now. It has absolutely blown me away how so many people have already been in touch less than a month into the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, offering to donate or sell me PlayStation 2 Platinum games. And honestly, I need all the help I can get, and it's super appreciated. So please, if you have any Platinum games to either donate, trade or sell, get in touch via my socials and help me complete the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you will know that I absolutely love hunting in CEX and it is one of the perfect places to find these PlayStation 2 Platinum games. So let's head to the local branch of CEX in Ipswich and try and cross some of these games off the list and try and find some cheap PS2 bangers. Now, of course, when I visited Ipswich, I had to hit up the local branch of CEX. Now, this is normally a pretty good store and the retro selection is hidden downstairs. So if you ever visit, make sure you head downstairs, otherwise you're going to miss a lot of retro. And honestly, when I came down the stairs, I was a little bit shocked because the PlayStation 2 section was surprisingly small. And at this point of the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, we need all the games we can find, but straight off the bat, I could see Metal Gear Solid here. And this is the thing, it's still early days, I can't afford to be picky, so I did pass on this one because it didn't have the manual. Now, 
What you can't hear in the background because it's licensed music was some very, very, very tense music from a video game. I think it was like Goldeneye Deathmatch music or something. It was making the entire hunt here in the basement at CX very, very tense. That's probably why I'm shuffling these iToy play games just so quickly because at the end of the day, I'm looking to score just cross a lot of these cheap games off the list. So games like The Getaway, absolutely fantastic game. Three pounds, yes, definitely going to grab this one. Absolutely iconic game for the PlayStation 2. I'm also looking to get some of the FIFAs crossed off the list. I think there's about 15 or 20 FIFA games required for the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. And I just want to get some of these crossed off the list, even though one of those was absolutely gross like felt like i had to wash my hands much like the fifa series there are many many pro evolution games on the platinum project playstation 2 and so far the only one we have is pro evolution 3 so you can see i'm flicking through some of these various numbered games here hoping i can find the platinum version of some of these games yes pro evolution 3 once again there's many many copies if so if you're needing one definitely head to ipswich but we are looking for some of the pro evo games we don't need i think again there's seven eight maybe nine of these pro evo games and at 50p i just want to get some of these crossed off the list there is a lot of sports games on the platinum project playstation 2 and one advantage is a lot of these are super cheap and it's just basically remembering which ones you have so it looks like now we have pro evolution 3 and pro evolution 4 soccer but it's not just football games that have multiple entries. I could see from the side of this pile of Rugby 2004 games, there was a platinum game here for Rugby 2004. And another great game to cross off the list of those 256 games that we need to find for just 50p. But down here is some more kind of heavy hitter titles. Some of the games that are super cheap to pick up. But if I can pick up two Spyro games for a tenner, £5 each, there are some fantastic platformers to cross off the list. Here it is then, folks. This time in CX, we managed to find six games that we needed for the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. But the question is, how many of these will have the correct disc? When it comes to hunting for PlayStation 2 Platinum games in CEX, there is a slight issue. Sometimes, of course, they will sell these and they won't have the manual. And sometimes they will sell these and they won't have the correct PlayStation 2 Platinum disc. But I'm happy to say this time, out of the six games I picked up off the shelves, we managed to pick up five to cross off a list for the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. So first off, as I said, we are aiming for cheap games. We found FIFA Football 2003 for just 50p. Next up, we found one of my favourite games on the PlayStation 2, The Getaway. But we have a slight issue here. With The Getaway, it is missing the manual, but... Remember, earlier in this episode, we were donated a copy of the Getaway box and manual only from John here in the fine city of Norwich. We can cross this one still off the list. But we still have a couple of games to cross off the list from CX. So next up, we have Pro Evolution Soccer 4 for just 50p. Because at the end of the day, I want to get all of these football games crossed off the list. And next up, we have not one, but two games from one of the best franchises from this generation of console. First up, we have Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, which was £5, but is a good one to get crossed off the list. And another £5 game, Spyro A Hero's Tale. Yes, I said I am trying to go for these cheap games, but honestly, if I can pick some of these games up for the five, even ten pound mark, it's all about the numbers and get them crossed off the list. This right here is one of the advantages of the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, at least at the start of the challenge here. I managed to pick up these five games here for just £14. But this is what it's all about in this episode, is crossing off these games while they're cheap, as the road is long and it's only going to get harder. With the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, I am trying to find all 256 PAL-released PlayStation 2 Platinum games. Now, that means games that weren't just released here in the UK, but also in Europe and Australia. And here is the thing. Not all of these games got a Platinum release here in the UK. Some are exclusive to other countries. Now, to the best of my knowledge, this game, which I managed to pick up off eBay was only released in Europe and more specifically France. Now I cannot believe how cheap I managed to get this copy of FIFA Football 2002. Now to the best of my knowledge, this was only released under the Platinum release in France. And I managed to get this on eBay for just 49p plus postage and packaging. Now the Platinum Project PlayStation 2 is gonna be a long, hard challenge but 
I think it's going to be challenging to find one of these games we have to import for less than 49p. With the vast majority of these PlayStation 2 Platinum games, I'm hoping to find them in the wild, be it in charity shops, game shops, CX stores, or even gaming markets. But for some of these, they are super rare and only got a very limited release. Now, I'm slowly trying to work out which one of these games are hard to find. And when I saw this game on eBay, there was only one copy available and the other copies were super expensive. That's why I decided to grab this one while I could. Scarface, the world is yours. Now, I'm always trying to beat the CEX price when it comes to these games. As a majority of these, I think I can find in CEX. But this one is one which does not come in stock very often. There's not many copies for sale on eBay. So when I saw this one for around the £10 mark, I wanted to grab it and cross it off the list. With the Platinum Project PlayStation 2, one of my greatest aims is to try and shine a spotlight on as many of the amazing independent retro gaming shops that we have here in the UK as possible. So finally this time we are heading to one of my favourite local independent gaming stores trying to cross some more games off our list. Our final stop this time on the Platinum Project PlayStation 2 is one of the many, many incredible independent gaming stores we have here in the UK. And trust me, no trip to Ipswich is complete without a trip to the Retro Realm. The Retro Realm is ran by no other than Sega Zombie Scott himself. And this store has moved from as much smaller premises into this much larger premises. And it is still absolutely stacked with some of the best retro toys. I have seen anywhere and that's just before we get to the incredible selection of video games they have but these glass cabinets spoke to me straight away as I walked in I could see these amazing Kenner aliens figures and then in the cabinet next to it was an absolutely incredible selection of some vintage TMNT figures and also a carded Jurassic Park figure but for today at least we are here on the hunt for PlayStation 2 Platinum games and trust me, we are going to cross some games off the list. The Retro Realm has an absolutely massive selection of games. And honestly, it had one of the biggest selections of PlayStation 2 Platinum games that I've seen so far here on the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. Even if they are quite hard to get off the shelves. So once I managed to get into the shelves, I was going to start grabbing these games. As I said, we are still early in the project and there are so many cheap games I can cross off the list. And... Apologies, Scott, I have cleared out most of your PlayStation 2 Platinum section, I'm afraid, because there were so many games to grab here, and these are so cheap. This is one of the absolute joys of the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. You can pick up iconic games, such as Call of Duty 3, from this golden era of Call of Duty, for like a couple of quid. The only thing is, of course, when we are looking for these Platinum games, we need to make sure they have the Platinum disc in these games. But there's just so many games to pick up here. And the thing, even if 50% of these games have the incorrect disc, we can still cross a large amount of games off the list here. And there's some games that I've never seen before. Like I've never seen this Gran Turismo game on the Platinum release. And I'm really just going to grab these. If I see a PlayStation 2 Platinum game, which we need off the list, and it is under a fiver, I'm just going to grab it, no questions asked. And I'm just glad to cross this one off the list, iToy Play. It's probably one of the most common PlayStation 2 Platinum games, but I don't want to mess around. I want to get these numbers down. At the end of the day, we have 256 of these games to find over the course of 2024. And honestly, the more I can cross off the list now, the better. And this is what I love about supporting some of these independent gaming stores as we go. It's just not been able to go and clear out their Platinum games, but some of these Platinum games are so unloved, and I'm going to give them a loving home. And I hope with this series, it just really shines a spotlight on what an amazing selection of games the PlayStation 2 Platinum Library surely was. So you can see here, I've managed to build up a nice little stack of games. I was umming and ahhing whether to pick up True Crime, but I think I'm going to hold out and try and find a copy with the map and maybe the manual. But for today, here in the Retro Realm, we've still managed to pick up a really good selection of games. Again, I was tempted to go back and grab one or two more. Like I was thinking, do I grab Brothers in Arms? But I did pass because it had the incorrect disc. And one more time, just before going back to the games, shall we grab Dragon Ball Z? Let's check it out. 
Unfortunately, wrong disc this time, but we've still got loads to cross off. Here we are then, back in the games room, one last time from our trip to the Retro Realm in Ipswich. And trust me, if you are ever in the area or making a road trip, it is well worth a visit. Scott is super friendly. We spent ages talking about video games, and the store is absolutely stacked with retro toys and retro games. We managed to pick up a stack of PlayStation 2 games to cross off the list this time. And this stack of games here was just 10 pounds and there are some low-key bangers in here so first off we have call of duty free which yes you can see at the top here with net play if you had the network adapter you could play this game online with the playstation 2 it blows my mind that was still a thing next up we have a low-key banger an absolutely fantastic game in co-op conflict desert storm 2 brilliant game next up we have a game that was very prominent in my teenage years dead or alive 2 if you know you know Next up, we have a game which, honestly, I'm just glad to cross off the list. I think this is one of the most common Platinum games. I think they do make a bundle version of iToy Play. If I can pick up the bundle version, even better. But if not, I'm just glad to get this one crossed off the list. Next up, we have a game which, it took me ages to find the Black Label version of this, and that's GT Concept. So when I saw this one, I knew I had to pick it up, an absolute bargain at £3. Next, we have the first of three Prince of Persia games, strangely styled, I think with the last game in the franchise, Prince of Persia Warrior Within. And finally, we have SOCOM US Navy Seals. Loads of games to cross off the list and all these bangers for just a tenner. This pile right here represents exactly what I set out to do in this episode. To try and add as many games to the collection for as cheap as possible. And we are managing to cross 18 games off the list for just under £40. It's just over £2 a game average. So we have some cheap sports games in here, some cheap bangers. We even have import games and some rare games. But here's the thing, it's only going to get harder the further the Platinum Project PlayStation 2 goes. But for now, I'm happy to cross these 18 games off the list for a cheap bargain price. I have said it before, to the best of my knowledge, this is a concise list of the 256 power release PlayStation 2 games. But there's a twist in our tale as one of the games we picked up today is not on the list. And this could be the first of many twists here in the Platinum Project PlayStation 2. With today's episode, we found 18 games, which means for the first time in this series, we have under 200 games left to find. We have 196 games to find to be exact. But there's going to be a lot of twists along the way. Twists such as this one, Scarface the World is Yours, was not on the list. So does that mean there is more or less games to find? I guess only time will tell. So make sure you hit that like button, subscribe. And until next time, let the games begin. See y'all soon.